Yep. How you doing? Hey, I think this is going to be exciting. This is nice to see you guys again. Hello. Yeah, sure. Come anytime. <laughs> Our next guest is a. Uh, oh, there, there he goes. Look at him sneaking off. There he is. Uh, that gutless little weasel. I knew he'd run out of here. He's a scared, I tell you. Our next guest is a founding member of the legendary group The Who. Saturday night, you can order up his pay-per-view special entitled Daltrey Sings Townsend. Here, folks, performing with spin doctors, Roger Daltrey. Roger! <laughs> See you back, Dave. <laughs> He's not bad, is he? Hey, Dave, look who's here. Roger Daltrey. Whoa, scared. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about the deal with the microphone. How did that start? Oh, God. You're going to kill somebody with it. Well, that. I mean, uh, 
You have killed people doing that, haven't uh, you? Well, I nearly killed one. <laughs> I, um, no, it's not, I mean, singers get the lousy job of just standing there with this silly thing on... Now they even, haven't even got a lead. I, don't, I mean, guitarists have guitars, and they do all this, you know, and bass players can be cool, and drummers have got something to thrash. But singers, you know, it's... <laughs> you got it, sure. And so, you know, I got bored with this standing there, and I thought, what can I do with this thing? So I... <laughs> So one night I go, uh, I just kind of went. Somebody heaved oh, well, that's something that's, at you. That's somebody, quite interesting. somebody tossed something at you, and you wanted to knock them with it, right? Oh, that, yeah. That was, that, that was a. I was doing a show out the Albert Hall in London, and there was a real bunch of yobs out the front. Yobs? You say yobs? Yobs. <laughs> no, I, I what do you call them? We have any yobs here tonight? Yobs. You know. yeah. Anyway, these, these guys, they, 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 we were on bef uh, just before Chuck Berry, and these guys were waiting for Chuck Berry. Yeah. And um, this doesn't work, does it? It's not on. <laughs> oh, it's, it's habit. Well, not after you've, not after you've finished with it, it doesn't and, work, uh, no. <laughs> oh, sit down, sir. Anyway, these, these guys were, were, didn't want the who at all, and they started throwing things at us. And uh, one guy threw a penny at me, and, and I saw him throw it and, it, and it hit me just above the eyebrow. And, and cut me. And all this blood started coming out. I thought, oh, that's nice of him. But I saw who it was. And, and these guys, were, they were so jammed tight at the front of the stage that this guy couldn't move. He was stuck in the middle of this crowd like this, you know. No, no, get off, 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 and Chuck Berry. So I thought, right. <laughs> Right there. Right there. <laughs> and I tell you, it, it was a wonderful feeling. <laughs> Dave, now I understand why you left. <laughs> now, Roger, did, did you guys ever work in this theater when it was the, uh, the Ed Sullivan show? Oh, no, no, no. He wouldn't have us on his show. Wouldn't, didn't want the who no, on the we show? No, we were far too dangerous. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only people that would have us... <laughs> <laughs> The only people who, who would have us was, were the uh, wonderful Smothers Brothers. Yeah, they're original. Oh. The great show. Oh. Uh, Sunday nights on CBS, it was a terrific program. Yeah, we, we, we did that show, and it was a wonderfully memorable occasion because uh, in those days we used to blow the drum kit up. <laughs> Keith used to have this kind of, uh, <laughs> used to have this, this little thing in the drums that used to just explode, like, explode sure. the skin and smoke <laughs> would come out and everything yeah. else. And we, did, and we did the rehearsal. And uh, it came to the drum bit and it went. <laughs> <laughs> so Moon we thought, well, this is not good enough. So we got hold of the pyrotechnic guy and, um, and the brandy and a few hundred dollars. <laughs> and by the end of the day, when it came to do the show, and on this show, the same show was, was Bette Davis, yeah. Mickey Rooney, and Bette Davis was in full Elizabeth the First costume. <laughs> right? And it came to our bit. And we do my generation, and the guitar starts yeah. smashing everything. And we, well, here comes the drum, and it went. <laughs> <laughs> and the house, there was bits of the studio falling down. But <laughs> the drum, the biggest part of the drum kit left was about this big. Moon had blood streaming out of his arms. Oh, God. Keith, uh, Pete Townsend's hair went straight up like that, <laughs> and, and was fried in position. <laughs> Bet Davis passed out and yeah. we thought she'd had a heart attack. Uh -huh. And Mickey Rooney was going, more! <laughs> Betty, uh, Betty they Davis. They didn't ask us back. Betty Davis actually travelled with the Who on a couple of the tours, didn't she? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, in a box. <laughs> now, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, and the special, the well, paper the, the special, you know, is, is more of what we saw here tonight. You and the Spin Doctors and many other musicians performing music, right? Yeah, because um, I'm very lucky to be 50 next Tuesday. No, you're 50? Yeah. Happy birthday. And uh, out of this big mouth, although I didn't write it, came the, probably the most famous words in rock and roll. I hope I die before I get old. And... Uh, 
God, I'm here. <laughs> it's fifty. I never thought I'd make it, but rock and roll gave me such a wonderful life that I wanted to celebrate. And the, the show uh, is the pay per view is the celebration. Saturday night sounds yeah. like a great evening. Roger, That's good to see you. Thank you very much for being here. We'll be fighting in the streets with our children and our feet and the morals that they worship. Shoes on me.